such a thing. I tell him sometimes, I just know. He screams at me, then why tell me? Well, I said, if you are going to do such things, at least you should do them properly. Alright. Damn, this, this, the commentary is going to be pretty limited with all these audio logs that we keep finding, but I, I want you guys to to experience Bioshock, you know? If you've never played this, I want you guys to kind of experience it the same way I did when I was a kid. So, uh, here we go. I am beautiful, yes. Look at me. What could I do to make my features finer? With Adam and my scalpel, I have been transformed. But is there not something better? What if now it is not my skill that fails me, but my imagination? So the game wants us to go this way, but what happens is uh, there's a little scripted sequence where you actually can't go ahead to the end of the area. So we're actually going to need to go this way. This is the way we actually need to go in order to complete the mission. So just for the sake of time, let's just go this way. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. <laughs> Get back here, you crazy asshole. I ain't done with you. Oh, shit. Ow! Don't throw grenades at me. Thank you, Securitron 5000. I couldn't have done that without you. Oh, yeah, we got another audio log, too. I forgot. On the surface, the parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free. The farmer to feed them out of charity. How little... Security cameras. I can hear the Damn it, Atlas. This is the third time in a row. So, uh, I could hack this camera, but since uh, we're not going to be coming back to this area, there's really no point. If you hack a camera and a splicer gets detected by it, um, he'll call a security alert on him, so that's pretty cool. The fuck over here, you sack of shit. <laughs> Give me that first aid, boy. Yeah. Need some Eve hypo, too. That's what I really need. So, we're gonna find the uh, fire plasmid in here. Uh, I think it's called uh, Incinerate. So, we get surrounded by splicers, uh, this is probably gonna kill my robot, unfortunately. But, I'm gonna do it anyway, because I don't really care about the robot. Light the oil slick on fire, it just kills all of them really quick. There goes my robot, I knew it. Sorry, robot. <laughs> fucking hate Jin. That's why I did that. Jin is gross. Change my mind. Alright. I'm gonna go this way. Avoid the camera again. Probably just like, I could probably just bash it. Why does it have so much health? Holy shit. What the fuck? I was not expecting the camera to be so durable. Good lord. Um, go ahead and, uh, do that. Did you guys know that it, uh, in, in actual, uh, corpse incinerators like this, it takes a really long time for the body to burn. It doesn't just happen instantly like that. It takes, like, like, three hours. I learned that, uh, shortly after my grandpa died and he got cremated. Physical tonics make you stronger or more powerful. They're, they are equipped separately from plasmids and other types of tonics. Hell yeah. Works for me. Uh, hopefully won't ha need to make extensive use of that, because I hate hacking. Or not hacking, uh, god damn it. There's some coffee. When Picasso became bored of painting people, he started representing them as cubes. 
shapes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes. Over and over again. The upturned nose, the cleft chin, the ample bosom. Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could do with a knife what that old Spaniard did with a brush? Alright, so this door opens and there's a turret on the other side of it. I said turret, not turd. I literally, I, I think I s sounded like I said turd. I heard it in my own voice. Uh, let's drink some whiskey. Yummy in my tummy. Hey, hey, get away from me, turret. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna hack this safe behind you. And by hack, I mean, uh, should I buy it out? Or should I actually try to hack it? Oh, this is gonna be a challenge hack. Hold on, this could actually be a good one. Alright, give me an... Okay, not, not what I needed. I fucked up. Let me try again. I need a, an elbow piece that I can, can actually do something with. What is the game's problem right now? You know what? I'm buying it out. I don't even care. It's like most of my money. But I'm gonna do it. <laughs> What's in there? 17 bucks. Um, some armor piercing pistol rounds and some shotgun shells. Holy shit, I died because I wasn't paying any attention. I got revived into Vita Chamber. I can't believe I died. I wasn't really expecting to die <laughs> during this playthrough. I just wasn't paying any attention to my health. That sucks. That was a very embarrassing death. That could have been completely avoided considering I have nine first aid kits. But you know, you win some, you lose some. And I uh, definitely lost some in that one. Damn, I have eight armor piercing pistol rounds now. Uh, we're gonna have a big daddy fight at the very end of this mission. And uh, these armor piercing rounds are gonna make that a little bit easier. Alright, so... Now that we can melt the uh, ice out of our way and shit. Already went in there. Um, now we can go... Oh shit! Hello there. Yeah, it hurts, don't, don't it? Being on fire kind of sucks. Enemies in this game don't seem to care as much about being on fire as they should. <laughs> uh, let's get some more pistol rounds. There we go. Nothing in there. We can go in here. What we got in here, huh? Little storage closet. It's actually kind of cool. A little secret room. It's not really that much of a secret. Hey, an automated hack tool. I love those. I love them because they let you skip hacks. <laughs> Why wouldn't I love that? I, I I, just don't really like the hacking in this game. Like I said, I don't have a problem with the hacking. Like, I think the system is fine. I just think it's way too frequent. They should have done what, like, Deus Ex did. And, you know, like, cause Deus Ex had an alright hacking system. And it just wasn't in your face all the time, you know? They, they knew how to pace it out. Oh, there's pistol ammo. Hey. I don't know how I saw that, but I did. I got dim eyes. I can't go in there? Fine. I don't even want to go in there. Uh, there's one place that I, I feel like I'm, I forgot to go into. Oh, that's right. I forgot to go in here. Or no, I came in here and I like didn't actually mop the- Oh yeah, the turret killed me! That's right. How funny would it be if the turret killed me a second time? I already looted the safe. I don't need to go over there. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm losing my fucking marbles, man. Shotgun ammo, money, dollars, dollar dollar bills. 0451, just the passcode for the door over there. I think 0451 was the same passcode from Deus Ex. I don't know why I'm drawing all these connections between Bioshock and Deus Ex right now. 0451... Machine gun, rounds, Eve hypo, there we go. Now we're getting some good stuff. Shotgun ammo. Uh, we'll be getting the shotgun shortly. So that'll be nice. Uh, first we gotta explore the rest of this. Alright, when I was a kid, this is the area that scared me to my core. I mean, just take one look into this place and you can already tell why. But there's a reason. When I was a kid, uh, something specific happens 
that just made my balls drop to the floor, and I quit the game because of it, because I thought the game was too scary. This whole level had been scaring me up to this point, mind you. The whole game, really, I thought was scary, but this, this is what did it. This, this whole sequence, this is what did it. Alright, so, just a little recap. Creepy doctor, silhouetted shadow, you, you approach him, the lights go out, and then you wander over here and he's gone. So when I was a kid, I was already scared. Uh, security expert, a new offering in the HackSmart line. Security expert was designed for the hacker specializing in disabling electronic security measures. You won't be secure without security expert. Alright, uh, reduces difficulty when hacking turrets, bots, and cameras. Alright, I'll take that for now, even though I don't really plan on doing a whole lot of either of those things. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, that's what made my balls drop. He disappears, the lights go out, they set up this perfect atmosphere, and then you just get the ultimate jump scare. Like, that's just perfect to me. Like, they, they really... Bioshock did a good job, in my opinion, with executing that. Because when I was a kid, <laughs> I quit the game because of everything you just saw. Everything you just saw made me so terrified that I stopped playing the game for, like, six months. But yeah, I digress. That's the end of that story. Headshot! Give me your money! What's in this ashtray? Nothing? Oh, there's cigarettes on top, though. Actually gave me some Eve back. Thank you. Otherwise, I would have had to reload. How much I hate reloading my Eve hypo. Alright, let's go ahead and melt ourselves a path. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <clears throat> Freezing pipes. And speaking of ambush, hello there. Opening you up. You're opening me up? Okay, I'm gonna light you on fire. How about that? That goes double. I feel like double fire. I think he actually did take double fire damage when I did that. <laughs> I didn't know that fire damage stacked in this game. That's hilarious. Alright, I don't know why I keep meandering through here like there's something going on. Let's just progress. The shotgun is right up ahead. Let's go grab it. Uh, we actually don't want to go in here just yet. Uh, we're going to grab the telekinesis plasmid when we're in this area. And we're actually not going to want to go through there until we have the telekinesis plasmid. And it's shotgun time. Look at all the shotgun ammo we have. Hell yeah. This is another part that scared me when I was a kid. Not quite as much as the uh, the other part. But this part, this part got me good too when I was younger. But I mean, like, you're so... He I have all this shotgun ammo. There's just no... There's nothing to fear. The shotgun man is here, you know? And that's all of them, I'm pretty sure. It's actually not that many enemies. Alright, thuggish splicer. Thuggish splicer, give me your stuff. That corpse just phased into a, a lockbox. There we go. Alright, which way we gotta go now? I think we gotta go this way. I think, uh, I think Dandy Dental is where the, um, uh, the plasmid's at. I actually get hit in the head with a ball. That'd be hilarious. Oh my god! Did you see that? It actually launched me back. That's amazing. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna keep doing this. You guys, I just found a cheat. I found a Bioshock cheat. <laughs> That's awesome. I mean, it's not really awesome. There's nothing really super special about it, but whatever. Telekinesis. Oh, let's pick this up first. I've ran out of slots and I need to replace a plasmid. I'm going to replace Incinerate, because Electro Bolt's a little bit more useful and practical. Throw objects at foes. You can even catch 
catch a grenade, then throw them back. Clever! All right. I'm gonna grab one of these tennis balls. By that I mean I'm gonna grab the racket. Can I actually play tennis? What happens if I, if I like, hold on. Let's see what happens. God damn it! Stop spinning it, asshole! Quit spinning the racket. Oh, I did it! I did it! All right, mission complete. That's all I wanted to do. Just wanted to try to play some tele tennis. He died. <laughs> Work on telekinesis plasma proceeding well. Lifting objects at distance presents a no problem. Moving objects through space, no problem. Cannot stop speeding bullets, but can catch and throw a faster moving object. Problem not with plasma. Problem with reaction time. Still trying to just get an idea for plasma. All right, so this is gonna be a bit of a rough hack, but I think I got it. I think I got it. If not, I have an auto hack, so so fuck it. I'm just gonna try to save the auto hack for something that's gonna be legitimately challenging. That was actually not bad. Uh, first aid kit, I can't take it. Eve hypo and money, I can take those. Heck yes. That was definitely not worth an auto hack, so I'm glad I didn't use it. All right, there's another bunch of places we can explore around here. I'm gonna... Actually, I don't need to break that. I'm full on first aid at the moment. Can't go through there. Can go in here. Oh, hi, Mr. Turret. Got a little something for ya. Uh, is there anything I can throw at it? Here, let's throw an ashtray at it. Hey, fuck you! Okay, 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 okay. Let's have a little, a little, a little firefight. Alright, we did it. We did it. I don't know why, but that was kind of stressful. <laughs> Turrets are no joke, man. Yeah, at least we got, like, all sorts of band-aids. Oh, this was another part of the level that scared me as a kid. So get ready. Buckle your seatbelt. So we'll pick up the uh, speedy hacker. Uh, reduces flow speed when hacking. Oh, that could be useful. And, uh... Look who's behind us! A bad guy! Yeah, when I was a kid, that, that too made me shit myself. This is a lot of, like, random jump scares in this level. I think we're coming up on another one, <laughs> as a matter of fact. I don't know if that counts as a jump scare, but I think that's what I was talking about. Hey, another auto hack tool. It's like the exact same room I found earlier, but just in like a different spot. Oh, hey, it's that one door that I was like, oh, how do I get in there? Well, there we go. We found it. Uh, I can't remember if we already went in there. I think that, oh, yeah, we. Uh, that's where we just came from. I think I just saw another little sister in there. Oh, uh, never mind. I think I, I think I lied. I think I hallucinated, as a matter of fact. <laughs> Uh, we need the Chomper's Dental Office key. I don't really know where exactly to find that. I can't remember where to find that. Also, is that message ever going to disappear about the needing the key? I get it. I get that I need the key. Is the message ever going to go away? I really hope it does. If not, we might have to wait until the next loading screen or something. Oh shit. I forgot about the missile launcher guy. Holy shit. Fuck you, asshole. Launching missiles at me? RPG turret? Who do you think you are? Alright, so... I think you can get in here by breaking the glass. But that causes a security alert. So, I don't know if I really want to deal with that. Hold on, let me see if there's a shutdown panel nearby. 
So you can find these shutdown panels that'll actually uh, make the, the robots go away. Hi there, I'm gonna throw a box at you. Damn, okay, death by box, I see. <laughs> I have $99. Bioshock is all about capping me right off of the uh, even number. Oh, you asshole, where did you come from? <laughs> oh, shit, okay. Nice motordom. Nice try. Let's spend some money. Uh, what should I buy? Right, get another first aid kit. Uh, shotgun ammo. And I think that's good. I do like the shotgun. It's probably my favorite weapon in the game. You're going to see me using this bad boy a lot. The only time you'll see me not using the shotgun is when I am out of ammo for the shotgun. <laughs> Or when I, I mean right now I kind of need to save some of the ammo. We got a sort of a boss fight coming up. And we got a big daddy fight after that, so. There's that. I'm going to move on to the surgery area now. Big daddy and a little sister just kind of going about their own shit. Aesthetics are a moral imperative. So here comes Dr. Steinman. I'm gonna try to throw a wheelchair at him and see what happens. Hey, Dr. Steinman. Oh, he didn't care. He, he just didn't care. So now that we have the telekinesis plasmid, we can actually uh, bypass this scripted sequence and do that. Suck on that, you shit. There we go. Alright, so you use that guy's explosives to blow yourself a path, and then you just kind of go this way. Now we are officially chasing Steinman again. <laughs> Speaking of Steinman, there he is. That's a waste of those. Alright, let me go ahead and hack this thing. Oh, I have three auto hacks. Say goodbye to that hack. <laughs> oh, there's a security camera. Da -da -da -da. God, the wrench is just no way to do that. I swear to God. <laughs> Man. I, I almost got caught twice doing that. Another safe. Uh, we have an auto hack, so let's do it. <laughs> Wasting all my auto hacks right off the bat, I see. Uh, works for me, though. The less hacking I have to do in the moment, the better. Alright. Another uh, audio, audio diary. Aphrodite walking. Alright, so here's uh, the crazy bastard himself. She won't stay still. I want to make them beautiful, but they always turn out wrong. That one's too fat. This one's too tall. This one's too symmetrical. And now, what's this guy? An intruder. He is ugly. 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 You're, you're mean, bro. You're fucking rude. Alright, so I guess this is kind of a boss fight. I have a kind of a hard time calling it that. Did he just fall right in the oil? And then not burn? What the fuck, game? Hey, Dr. Steinman. Got a little, got a little something on your face. Oh, I didn't hit him in the face. Trying to shotgun blast him right in the face for a cool one-liner. 
All right, he's dead. That was easy. That wasn't really much of a boss fight as much as it is just like a slightly harder regular splicer enemy, but whatever. Uh, if you're having trouble with him on a harder difficulty, which you might, because this is kind of hard on uh, on a higher difficulty, uh, <clears throat> go ahead and hack this first aid station, because he will use it a lot. If you hack it, it'll poison him, and he will most likely die. There you go. You got the emergency access key from him. Alright, so not really a whole lot left to do in this area. Well, it's kind of a lie, but not not really. Give me your splitters. There you go. Water kill. Fortunately, now I have to wait. <laughs> That's the only downside to doing that. Give me all your stuff. Who needs the nurse? I'm a shotgun nurse. I can help. I heard someone... Oh, hi there! How did you not die? Little fucking... There we go. Oh, come on! This guy is fucking bulletproof. There we go. Good lord. Are you, are you, are you done? You done blowing shit up? Okie dokie, here we go. That big daddy got fucking destroyed. Uh, can I not loot him? Why can't I loot him? Come on, big daddy's probably got like a ton of money on him. See that big daddy that like phased in and phased out right there? I will make it to be worth your while. If you didn't rewind real quick. <laughs> it was fucking weird. Like he was standing right there and he just like bloop. That was that was very odd. Alright, so uh if you've played Bioshock before, you know you know the drill here. Uh you know what's about to go down. But if you've never played Bioshock, I'll I'll explain this real quick. You can either rescue the little sister and return her to her human state for a smaller amount of atom or you can kill her and take all of the atom um, and what atom is it's basically the currency you use to, uh, to buy gene tonics and plasmids so um, if you kill any of them even a singular one if you kill a single one you <laughs> ending or a bad ending so here we go. Choose whether to rescue the little sister or harvest her. If you harvest, you get Max Adam, but she will not survive the process. If you rescue her, rescue her you will get less Adam, but Tenenbaum has promised to make it worth your while. And she does. She gives you some pretty cool rewards. So I'm not going to do a jerk run. I'm not going to be a dick. I'm going to try to get the good ending. So we'll, we'll go ahead and rescue all of them that no. we come across. I have done playthroughs where I, I harvest them all and just take all the atom for myself. And I'm not gonna lie, I mean, it's... It doesn't really give you that, that big of an edge. I'm sorry, am I in your way? Those things may look like wee little girls, but looks don't make it so. You need all the atom you can get to survive. Yeah, yeah let's see. 
That's kind of true, but also, I mean, the, the game is very, very beatable without a ton of Adam, so don't worry, Atlas. <laughs> Still pretty fucked up, but uh, yeah, we're about to fight a big daddy. Uh, shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, if you get too close to the little sister, the big daddy goes fucking ape shit. But he won't attack you unless you keep doing it. Uh, there's another little sister ahead to get the atom from her. You must deal with the big daddy. I can do that. Uh, the unfortunate thing is we can't really do a whole lot in the way of setting traps. But since this is the first big daddy of the game, I'm pretty sure he's made pretty easy. Look how small he is. I'm like, I'm taller than him. Look at this guy. Look at him. Look at this, look at this big pussy. Why is he not pushing me? Normally when you get close to a big daddy, they shove you. That's weird. I feel like the game is broken. Hello. Oh, he did push me. There we go. <laughs> Fuck him up. Switch to the electric buck, please. And now switch back to the normal buck, please. Ow, this guy fucking hurts when he does his slam boning move. Where's he going? Oh, he's attacking my turret. Forgot I even had that turret. <laughs> hey, you big asshole, I'm right- Ow! Ouch. I'm gonna use these. There we go. Ow. God. Get the fuck away from me, you big asshole. These dudes- Damn, those are- Those are fucking him up good. Mr. Bubbles is not getting up. Where, where is the kid? There we go. You saved me. I sure did, didn't I? I'm, I'm amazing. Can I go back to that atom machine that I came across earlier? Probably not, but who cares anyway? Uh, do I need ammo for anything? Should I, should I buy ammo? I don't, I'm pretty good on ammo. I think what I really need are first aid kits. There we go! Thank you! Now sell me a hypo, you laughing idiot. Thanks. <laughs> so, uh, pretty sure that's like the last major thing we really had to do in this area, so... Um, once we get to emergency access, I'm probably going to wrap up this recording sesh. And then when we come back next time, we're going to do one of my favorite levels in the entire game, which is Neptune's Bounty. One of my favorite levels, but it's not uh, my favorite favorite. Um, I tried, but you disappeared. Hey, grenade guy! Pass one my way! Thanks! <laughs> he fell down the stairs! The fucking dork. Well, I mean, I guess an explosion went off right next to him. Can't really blame the guy at that point. Ow, don't shoot! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Stop, stop it! Stop it! There we go. Alright, um, I don't know why I came back in here. I guess I just really wanted to fight that chick. <laughs> Da -da -da. You are welcome. Alright, so that's going to be the end of this recording session, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I feel like I've been playing for a while, but uh, next time we, uh, when we come back, we're going to do Neptune's Bounty. Um, hopefully you guys will stick around and... Uh, I'm really, really tired right now, and I have no idea how to fucking articulate words, let alone end a video. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.